In this video, we're going to be looking at integrating 1 over x squared between 0 and 1. So we're not looking at examples now where we've got infinity or negative infinity in the limits. Um, we've actually got now a value, x being equal to 0, one of our limits, causing the function to have a bit of a problem because there we're dividing by 0. So it's undefined there. So it is an improper integral by that definition. So how do we deal with that? Well, we deal with it in exactly the same way as we dealt with infinity. I can't substitute 0 into the function. However, what I can do is I can look at a value, let's say a, and I could let a approach 0, and I will see what the integral is doing. That is effectively how this process works. So this is the limit as a tends to 0 of the integral between a and 1 of 1 over x squared, so x to the minus 2 dx. So we can write this as the limit as a tends to 0 of, now integrating this, uh, add 1 to the power divided by the new power, we're going to get minus 1 over x, evaluated between a and 1. So this is equal to the limit as a tends to 0 of, substituting the 1, we get minus 1, substituting the a, and we're subtracting here, so plus 1 over a. Now, as a tends to 0, 1 over a tends to infinity. Okay, And so, this is divergent. Okay, this does not converge. So the integral, integral between 0 and 1 of 1 over x squared dx, dx, sorry, the integral between 0 and 1 of 1 over x squared dx is divergent. It is undefined. Okay? So strangely, you might feel that the integral between 1 and infinity uh, exists. That was equal to 1, but the integral between 0 and 1 does not exist.